You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Well, UMass's young defensive line is anchored by just one senior, a Minuteman who's had to overcome many obstacles in his life just to be on the field, but now as one of the team leaders, he's become a vital part of the Minutemen's defense. With the story, here's Cody Cruchel as Moffray Commerce Insurance presents In the Bunker with Daniel Maines. Daniel Maines was an All-State football player at Waltham High School just outside Boston. After he was tabbed the Dual County League Defensive Player of the Year as a senior, Maines was set to head to UMass as a walk-on defensive lineman. But in late 2009, he realized something wasn't right. Towards the end of my senior year in high school, like football season, I started like losing weight. I lost 10 pounds real quick and I, my stomach was hurting, but I was afraid that it was a problem that was a lot worse. Maines was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, a disorder that attacks the immune system. I got ulcers throughout my whole digestive tract. From my, I had like ulcers in my mouth, all throughout my intestines and all that, in my stomach. When you're having this problem initially, first off is like, what's going on with me? You know, why am I, I've worked so hard to, uh, you know, be fit, to get strong, and all of a sudden I'm losing control of everything that I, that I work so hard for. When Maines came to UMass in August 2010 to start his college football career, he still didn't feel right and left school a week into camp. In just 10 months, Maines' weight had dropped from 255 pounds his senior year of high school all the way down to 200. Originally, they tried giving me a lot of different types of medicine. I was taking up to close to 20 pills a day. I think it was like 19 to be exact. But nothing was working until he tried a treatment called Remicade, an IV he now takes every eight weeks. I just go to the doctors for like three hours, sit in a chair, relax with the needle in my arm. The best part about that was I could eat again because I went solid close to a year without being able to eat that much. And so all of a sudden I threw on a bunch of weight. While Maine says he still feels a little bit sick toward the end of each eight week cycle, the IV treatments have allowed him to manage Crohn's and get back to what he calls a normal life. I've kind of learned how to cope with it. At first it was pretty bad, like I would lose weight pretty quickly. I'd all of a sudden I'd be like 285 and then I'd be 270 the next week. That wasn't fun. I remember before we played Michigan a couple of years ago, I came into the season at 285. And before the Michigan week, I was down to 255, so I missed a couple games. Let's go, come on. Let's go, Dion Prado, two, one, two. Dion Prado. Right. With his Crohn's now manageable, Maines has been able to make an impact on the field. Last year as a junior, he moved into the UMass starting lineup, and this year, the economics and political science major is the lone senior on a young Minutemen defensive line. The former walk on was also awarded a scholarship in 2012 and that scholarship helped ease the burden on his family as it ensured both his tuition and health insurance would be covered by the university. They've supported me probably better than I have. There's been a lot of times where I wanted to quit. Like I've had, I got a lot of people around me. Um, my high school coach, Coach Mayberry, he's uh, helped me out a lot too. My family's helped me out. They keep me level-headed, you know. You would never know Danny has this problem. At, no one would, you look at him from the outside, you'd never know. You never want to and doing what you want to do with a sickness or an injury or anything like that. So now that I'm out here again, it feels great to be able to run around and get to enjoy it. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Cody Cruchel. Thank you, Cody. Nearly three out of every 1,000 Americans suffers from Crohn's disease. There's currently no medication or procedure that can cure it. But we've seen Daniel Maines battle that illness with some of the same fierceness that we watch on the defensive line that he brings every week. Best of luck to Daniel as he finishes out his UMass career.